So we're gonna grab a foam roller, magic circle, heavier hand weights, I'm gonna grab fives, you can grab eights, tens, um, and we're gonna grab our short and long band. We're just gonna have everything close by except for the bozu today. So grab your foam roller and let's make it down to the floor. Excuse me, little girl. Excuse me, sorry, okay. So we're gonna go down onto the knees. You're gonna put your hands all the way up to the sky. Take a big stretch up and out of the pelvis. Do a little side pull, side to side. Oof. For that lateral stretch, good. And then draw little circles with that upper body for four. And three. And two. And then reverse. So we're gonna reach for four. And three. And two. And one. Dive up and over, pull the low belly in. Take your hands right there onto the roller, and you're gonna press that roller all the way out with that chest down towards the floor and the tailbone up to the sky. Then you're gonna exhale, drop your chin and chest and round it all the way forward. There we go. Inhale, push that, that foam roller all the way out, chest out, tail out. And then exhale, round it up through your spine one more degree at a time. Good. Inhale. Press that roller out, chest out, tail out. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. And then exhale, drop your chin and chest and round it in. Good. Two more times. Inhale. Feels so good. Chest out, tail out. Exhale, round it in. And then one more. Inhale, press it out, hold it here, and you're gonna stretch the spine out and then back in. So you're just rocking back and forth, lengthening out the spine for eight, stay there, and seven, and six, and five, for four, stretch it out, and three, and two, and then you're gonna round it up. Now, I'm gonna take my left hand over towards the corner of my roller, and I'm gonna reach out and lean into that left shoulder, and then round it up, do it again. Inhale, lean into the left shoulder, push into that weight, yes. And bring it in two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in one more time. Reach across, lean into that shoulder, take a little tiny twist here. Leaning into the left shoulder, feeling that scapula come off of the back, and then slowly rounding it all the way back in. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. Let's do the other side. So now the right hand is gonna reach over to the corner of the roller, and you're gonna roll out and lean into that right shoulder, and then curl it back up. Inhale, press it out, and lean into the right shoulder, and then exhale, round it up. Inhale, push, lean into that right shoulder. Ooh. And then bring it in one more time. Press it out, lean into that right shoulder and hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly bring it back in. All right, let's flip around to the back. Hands are gonna go behind the head. You're gonna lay back onto your roller. We're gonna start with that little back bend here. So you're gonna back bend over the roller. Oh, feel that chest open. And then you're gonna exhale, round it up and pick that butt up. Inhale, drop the tailbone, open up the chest for that big arch over the, over the roller. And then exhale. Inhale, chest out, tail out, pull. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, tailbone down, chest is open. Exhale, pull it in one more time. Inhale, hold it there, and then just start to rock and roll in your upper body, that roller, all the way up into your neck and shoulders, all the way down towards your rib cage. 
Good, with those elbows open. Now you're gonna roll with the elbows closed and the upper back rounded. Good, and now the last one, you're gonna roll with your arms straight. So arms are straight overhead, and then you're gonna roll out those shoulders Oof. with those arms nice and straight. Good, you're gonna set the butt down. You're gonna drape your armpit over the roller, and you're just gonna roll front and back on your armpit. So you're going all the way front, round it forward, and then start to lay back. And just find those places that are really tight, and you can kind of go up and down on those places that are super tight, and just find that money spot. Oh, oh, and just, ooh. oh, oh. Get in there, oh man. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, and then you can also go right there on the front. So right where your peck is, you're on, you're kind of leaning towards the roller and you're rolling up and down. This arm is still reaching nice and long. Ooh. And then we're going to go to the other side. Holy moly. Okay. So now we go hands by the head. Rock to the other side and just start to rock out that shoulder. So you're turn to the other side here. Oh. We're going to set the butt down and then just reach that arm over the roller. Oof. And you are going to roll front and back. Oh, yeah. Up and down. Good. And just get all into that armpit. Find your money spot. Find the spot that's really nasty in there. And just rock and roll it out. Ooh. Good, and then we're gonna come all the way back center. Let's lay that um, foam roller long ways, and you're gonna sit on the very edge of your roller. So we are seated woo, nice and tall. We're gonna inhale, lift through the crown of the head, and we are going to exhale, tuck and scoop and articulate. Woo! down one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna inhale, take both arms all the way over your head for a big stretch. Exhale, slowly circle the arms around and then bring your chin to your chest, ha breath. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then slowly curl it up one vertebrae at a time. Oh my gosh, okay. Tuck and scoop and curl it down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And then inhale, both arms go up over the head. And then slowly circle those arms around, chin to chest. Ooh, and then curl it all the way up just a few more times. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and then scoop. Ooh, and roll it down. Arms go up over the head and circle it around. Ha breath. Ooh, and curl it up one vertebrae at a time. I had to grab behind my leg. Inhale, exhale. Make sure your hand weights are close by and tuck and curl and lower all the way down. So, I would love for you first, before you grab those hand weights, keep them close, is you're gonna reach your arms up to the sky. Turn your palms towards one another. So our shoulder blades are gonna come off of the roller and then that scapula are gonna roll around the roller. So we're going up and down and reach and see how my elbows are not bending, but I'm moving my shoulders on and off the roller. Now, palms down, tap the top of your thighs. Inhale, reach both arms up to a big wide V. Let your shoulders wrap around the foam roller and then lower it back down. We're gonna do a few more times. I just want you to feel the placement of your shoulders before we do that shoulder work 
And I promise you, once we're done with the shoulder work, I will give you all the delicious circles to work out all the knots in your shoulders. For four, big wide deep. And three, big inhale. And two, oh, turn your head side to side a little bit. And then rest in this uh, 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 goal post position. Arms overhead, rest in this goal post position, and just kind of rock your head side to side, and just feel that stretch in your neck. Good, for four, turn your head side to side. For three, turn your head side to side. Let it hang off the roller. For two, let that um, foam roller go right into the blade. And one. All right, so before we pick up our hand weights, we're gonna do some ab work. So fingertips on the floor. Inhale, exhale, one knee up into tabletop. Inhale, exhale, other knee up into tabletop. Now, if the roller is bothering you, you can always go to the floor. So we're gonna start with a big, long tap of that toe, and then we're gonna exhale, pull it up with the lower abs, and then inhale, tap, and then exhale, pull it up. The other option is, is a soft foam roller. I have that on the Amazon shop, but you can always just order a soft roller if these um, harder rollers are difficult. Sometimes they hurt some of my clients like their spine. Um, so up to you. Inhale and exhale, pull the lower abs in. Inhale and exhale, good. So we're just turning on the lower abs. Don't let your back arch too much. Now, inhale, exhale, bring your chin to your chest and curl up and look at those abs. So we're balancing on that roller, but I'm using my fingertips on the floor as stability. So you're gonna reach the right leg all the way out, and I want you to haw the breath and lift and lower that leg. Eight. If you need to set the head down at any time, you can. Six, it does make it a little bit harder. Five, both of them are hard. Four, Paw breath, three, exhale, two, bend the knee and lower the head, inhale, exhale, curl up, other leg reaches out, and lower and lift. Paw, use your paw breath, paw, to lift that leg. For eight, paw breath, for seven, point those toes, for six, reach long, five, exhale, for four, exhale, for three, Exhale for two, lower down and lower the head down. Now we're gonna draw circles, inhale. Exhale, curl up, extend the right leg out, tiny little circles for six, ha breath for five, ha breath for four, ha breath for three, ha breath for two, reverse for six and five. Exhale for four, ha breath for three, pull the belly in, two, ribs soften, and bend it in, other side. Inhale, exhale, reach it long, and draw little circles down and around. Ha breath, eight, or six, and five. Don't move those hips, only the leg for four. Ha breath for three, exhale for two, and reverse. Inhale, exhale for six, don't move. Five, ha breath for four, and three, and two, and lower all the way down. Now. We are going to inhale, extend both legs all the way out. Open and close the legs, and then slowly bend the knees and the head lower back down. Inhale, exhale, curl up and reach and hold. Open and close the legs, nice and slow. Slowly bend the knees, and then lower the head down. Beautiful, three more times. Inhale, reach, open and close. Ha, breath, bend the knees and lower the head, last two. <sighs> Curl up, open and close. Ha, breath, pull in. Good, one more time. Exhale, curl up and hold. Open and close, and then slowly bend the knees. And last little abdominal exercise here, straight legs up to the sky. Slowly lower your feet, one foot. You're gonna flex the toes and go right into your scissors, feeling the stretch in the back of the leg, using the fingertips to balance on that roller for eight, seven, pull the ribs and abs in, six, use your ha breath for five, exhale for four, 
Exhale for three and two. Now both legs are gonna lower and lift. You pick how low they go. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Don't let your back arch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You can curl up. Good, four more. Inhale, lower. For four. For three. Ooh, for two, one more. And lower all the way back down. Okay, great. Grab your heavier weights. I am gonna grab grab five, switch. You could grab eights, tens, whatever you're most comfortable with. That's for women, so men, you could probably go a little heavier. So we're just gonna lay here on the roller and give yourself a chest press. So ha breath, reach both arms up to the sky, and then inhale, arms are gonna go nice and wide. Exhale, press it up, and then inhale. As the elbows come down to the ground, let the weight open your chest, and then ha breath, press those arms up to the sky for 10 and nine. This should feel really good because your neck is supported. So there's no pressure on the neck doing arm work here and chest work. Chin is slightly tucked. Good, you should feel that little arc in the low back of your tailbone where your low back is for three and two. And then you're gonna hold it halfway in that chest press. Drop the shoulders, let them wrap around the roller, and then you're gonna single arm it, holding that um, bent elbow out to the side, holding the straight there for 10, nine, eight, seven, one at a time, six, exhale, five, exhale, four, exhale, three, Exhale, two, and now we're gonna add little pulses. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, or a few inches. Don't let your elbows drop too low. Stay right in the strength. Drop your chin, drop your shoulders for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, push it all the way up in five. Exhale, four, paw breath, three, and two and straighten it all the way up. Now turn your palms towards one another, a little micro bend to your elbows. Inhale, open, get that stretch in your chest. Ha breath, hug a tree. Ha breath, hug a tree. Good, nice openness in the shoulders there. Again, your chin is slightly tucked. Your neck is supported here. Ooh, for eight. For seven, oh, for six, for five, ha breath for four, exhale for three, exhale for two, and then we're gonna hold it open and do one arm at a time for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, ha breath, five, and four, and three, and two, and both arms pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, drop your shoulders, five, tuck your, tuck your chin, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms together. They're gonna go right there over your thighs. You're gonna reach both arms. This is where I like the two fives. It feels really good. Take both arms over your head for that big stretch, and then exhale, pull the arms all the way down. We are almost off this roller. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull it down. Good, for 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, or four, and three, and two, Last one, 
Bend those elbows, straighten those arms up to the sky for triceps. This is the last exercise here. Bend and straighten for 10. Ha breath for nine. Exhale for eight. Exhale for seven. Six. Anchor the shoulders for five. And the tailbone for four. And three. And two. And then you're gonna halfway hold. Little pulses, anchor the shoulders, little pulse. Clear your head with those weights and reach those elbows up to the sky and hug those elbows in. Close for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the hand weights down to the side. And then you're gonna look, I'm gonna look to the left I'm gonna to roll to the left, and then with that right arm, I'm just gonna circle that right arm around and really open up that shoulder. So roll to the left and lodge that roller into your left shoulder. That should feel really good and get all of the knots out. And then reverse your circles a few times for four, oof, and three, and two, and then you're gonna turn and look the other way. So you're gonna roll to the right, look to the right, and circle that left arm around. Good, for four, hi baby girl. And three, and two, Ooh. and then you're gonna reverse for four, and three, and two, and one. And then slowly come off, and before we are done with this roller, I want you to take it long ways and place it underneath your pelvis right here, and then your hips are gonna be opening. So at first, I want you to just straighten both legs and just feel that nice openness right here in your hip flexors. So it's not in the low back, but it's lower than the low back. So don't put it in the, push it down. Yeah, it should assist in opening up your hips right here. Now you're gonna keep one foot on the ground, reaching long. Pull that right knee into the right armpit and extend this bottom leg out really long so you get that nice stretch in the hip flexor. And then you're gonna roll your ankle out one way. And roll your ankle out the other way. And then we're gonna take that knee across for a big stretch right here and hopefully you get some adjustments in your low back. Good, one more big stretch here, keeping that shoulder on the ground, and then slowly coming back to center and switch. So knee to armpit, extend the other leg out, drop your shoulders, and then roll that ankle out one way, roll it out the other way, lubricate your joint, Reach your leg long, relax your shoulders, and then take that twist all the way. Oof. Come on, I need an adjustment. And then take a big stretch there. Oh. And then we're gonna slowly come back to center, both knees into tabletop, and you're just gonna rock it side to side here for eight and seven. Six and five for four and three and two. Now bend the knees into the chest and then roll that roller out from underneath you. And then we are going to set that down. Good. Come on to grab your uh, band. Let's go ahead and grab a heavy band here. And we are going to flip around into a downward facing dog, opening up those hands and just starting to pedal those feet out, getting a stretch in the back of the legs. So push your hands into the floor, externally rotate the shoulders and pedal those feet out, stretching out the back for 10 and nine and eight and seven. Push your hands into the floor for six and five for four and three 
and two, and then you're gonna lift up onto the tippy toes and round up through the spine to find your high plank. Shoulders are over the wrist, and you're just gonna start by tapping a knee on the floor and then lifting up. So shifting your shoulders over your wrist and tapping and coming up. Ha breath. Ha breath. Good. Exhale. Ha breath. For 10. And nine. And eight. And seven. So you're pulling on that strap. Six. You have that um, band around your knees. Five. For four. And three. Feeling the abdominals and shoulders for two and one, and then you're gonna come all the way back into that downward facing dog and just pedal those feet out for eight and seven, ha breath for six, exhale five and four and three and two and one. Now we're gonna come back into that high plank and we're gonna bring the knee to the same shoulder. So you're doing a little side abdominal crunch for 10 and nine, little spider, and eight, same knee to shoulder, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one, good, and then lower down, open the knees, and rest into a child's pose here. Take a big inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Good, big inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Good, one more time, and exhale, and then slowly come up out of it. All right, we are gonna flip over onto our forearm into a side plank. So I'm gonna anchor that shoulder onto the ground, lengthen out that neck, and come right into a side plank here. So we're gonna activate the outer thigh, lifting and lowering that top leg. Here we go for 10 and nine. I'm using my top hand on the floor. Eight and seven and six. Exhale for five. Ha breath for four and three and two and one, pulse the hips up, 10, squeeze it, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bend the knees, lower all the way down. You're gonna lay all the way down onto that arm. You're gonna stick that tailbone out and we're gonna lift up underneath that bottom rib, close the rib cage here. We're gonna draw circles with that strap on for one. So the strap was around the knees, up, up here. Two, there you go. And three, so the neck is relaxed. We're not involving the neck by looking up like this. This is terrible for the neck. So we are really maintaining stability in the pelvis by not moving the hips. We're lifted up underneath the rib cage, pulling the belly in, drawing the shoulder onto the back for four, and three, and two, then we're going to reverse it. So we go back out and around, one, two, big circle for three, reach the tailbone back for four, I have the heavy band on, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Now this top arm that you're laying on, I want you to reach it in front of you and lay down on your side. We're just gonna do a little twist before we finish the rest of the booty work. So you're gonna open all the way out and look to the side, to the other side, and then you're gonna close it up again. Good, do it again. Inhale, keep your knees together and take that big stretch there, reach the knee away. Good, now you can do a big circle with the arm up and around. Woo! 
and then circle up and around. Opening up the chest, feeling the stretch in the back. One more time. And then big openness right here. Great, now come right back. Take that arm back underneath you. We're gonna kiss those knees together, flex that foot, get that heel up to the sky. And we're kicking it to the back. Internally rotate and kick. Internally rotate and kick. Good. Angel, angel. Good, for eight. And seven. And six. Kiss those knees and internally rotate that leg. And five. Exhale for four. Exhale for three. Exhale for two. And then last one, hold that leg back. Turn that toe down and pulse it up for 10. Nine, double time. Eight, turn the toe down. Seven, heel up to the sky. That means your leg is internally rotating. Six and five and four and three and two, and then bend it in. Flex your feet, pop that butt back, and finish with a hand for 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, exhale, five, ha breath, four, and three, and two, and you can pulse it out if you want. I am going to pound out this hip. Pop that butt out if you want to pulse it out, pop it out, pop it, pop it, stick it up, turn that knee out, turn that leg out, burn it out, and take a rest. Ooh. So now we are going to flip over to the other side, starting with being on your forearm. So we have flipped sides. I'm going to take this shoulder and I'm gonna roll the shoulder onto my back and really lengthen out my neck and lift up underneath the rib cage here. So we're gonna come all the way into that side plank and we're gonna lift and lower that top leg. I'm using my top hand on the floor and looking down if your neck bothers you. Lift and lower for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now pulse your hip up for 10. Fire that oblique, lift, nine. Push off the floor, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower down. Reach that arm really long on your, on your mat, bend your knees up, holding it here, and we are drawing circles with that knee. So lift up underneath that bottom rib cage, pop that tailbone backwards, roll the shoulder back, and draw your circles here. Two, push it up, three, ah, breath for four, exhale for five, Six and seven. Lift it up. Tailbone back. Eight and nine. Woo. And reverse it. We go for ten. Nine. Eight. Three. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one, and take a rest. Now you're gonna lift that heel up and kiss those knees together, and you are going to kick that leg out, and then bring it back in. And then kick it out, and bring it back in. Ooh, tailbone back. Kick it out, eight, and seven, Ooh. and six, and kick it back. Five, internally rotate. Four, heel is up to the sky, knee is kissing the other knee. Three, 
two, and then hold it out, turn the toe down, and pulse it up and lift up underneath that bottom rib cage. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest it down. Let's give that butt a little bit of a break. Bring this top arm in front of you, lay onto your side, and you're just gonna open off that stretch and reach the top knee away from the way that you're reaching the arm. So that's gonna be your opposition. So my top arm for me is my left arm. I'm gonna reach my left arm, but my left knee is going to continue to reach in the opposite direction, the same way my right arm is reaching. So my left knee and my right arm are reaching in opposition to my left hand. Then you can do that big circle up and over with the chest, circle it around for three. And two. And one. And then slowly come back. Now we have to finish that booty. So take that arm back over your head. Stick that butt out and we go right into those clams. Tailbone is reaching back. Now you're going into external rotation. You did internal rotation. We did circles. We got into every little crease and crevice of those hips for eight and seven. Exhale for six. Ha breath for five. Ha breath for four. Exhale for three, exhale for two, and hold it at the top with that knee, and then little pulses, lift up underneath the bottom ribs, little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and remove your band you are going to go ahead and grab your ball, flip over onto your stomach, open up those legs, take a nice big inhale, anchor the shoulders on the back, come all the way up into a nice extension, and then exhale, slowly roll it down. I'm gonna move the ball a little closer to me so that I can come up maybe a little bit higher, draw the shoulders down, lengthen out the neck, pull the ribs and the stomach in. It's really important here to make sure your ribs and your tummy are pulled in so that you're not going into a crazy arch in the low back. So we go anchor the shoulders, inhale, lift for six. And five. For four. And three, squeeze the butt. And two. One more, we're gonna come up and hold it. You're gonna bend the arms in and out for 10. Pull the stomach in, nine. Elbows bend in, eight. Drop the shoulders down, seven. Six. Five. Four. Shoulders down, three. Elbows down, two. And one. Take that ball all the way behind your back. Grab it with both of your hands. Open up the chest and shoulders here. Inhale, lift, and kick those legs, and open the chest for 10. Nine, eight, squeeze, seven, straighten the legs. Six, lengthen through the crown of the head and through the tippy toes. Pull the belly in for four, and three, and two. Turn your head to one side. Reach your arms out to a T. Bend your right hand, bend your right knee. Peel your body off of the floor, and then open the shoulder. We're gonna flow in and out of this, so we're not gonna stay here for very long. So we're here, opening the shoulder, and then we're just gonna turn to the other side. Bend the left hand, bend the left knee, peel your body off of the floor, take that big stretch. Oh, that should feel good in your hip flexor, um, in your quad, in your shoulders. One more time, each side. Hmm. Top arm wraps around, shoulder opens. And then one more time, other side. And then shoulder opens. And then you're gonna slowly come all the way up onto all fours and send those fingertips, this is one of my favorites, towards your knees. 
And you're just going to draw little circles here for four and three and two. Good. And reverse. Circle those wrists out for four. Drop the shoulders for three. Circular patterns. Bend those elbows a little bit so you're not locking them out. Good. And then flip them around. Good. And then just squeeze it here. Sit back onto those feet. And then just roll the wrist out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna grab, I have my five pound hand weight. I'm gonna extend my arm and my leg away. I'm gonna crunch this three times. So I'm gonna go one, reach, two, reach, three, reach, I'm gonna set this foot down, this arm's gonna come in front, and then I'm gonna go into a big stretch here. Okay, and then I'm gonna windmill the arms around, reach the arm and the leg away, and crunch it in three times. One, two, three. This foot comes down, this arm comes down, big side stretch here, bend into this knee. So yeah, Trish, get that leg up. So the same way you're bending, you're gonna, so it's other leg. Yes! And then you're gonna push off that leg. Arm reaches up, hold. Good, and crunch it in for three. So the leg that's out right now is the one that's gonna go on the floor and bend. Two, and three. So see how this foot's gonna come down onto the floor right here. Turn the foot out. Arm comes down. Big side stretch. Bend into that knee more. Bend into that knee more. Yes, push off of that leg and stretch. One, two, three, and stretch. Good, two more times. Reach, one, two, three, and stretch. We're gonna do that one more time. Ooh, gosh, that side stretch feels so good, doesn't it? And push, and three, and two, and one, and big side stretch. Beautiful, other side. Send that leg out, that hand comes to the ground, reach the top arm overhead, hold it here, and you're gonna side crunch. Three, if your neck bothers you, you can just look down to the ground. Good, and then you're gonna set that foot down, now we're gonna bend oof, to the other side. Oh, feels so good. And then stretch, Woo. bend it in. Three, two, one, and stretch. Ooh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh. Other arm, Trish, other arm, other arm. And then big stretch, and we go for three, two, and one. And stretch, just a few more. Reach for three, and two, and one. Good, let's do it two more times. Good, hop our three, stretch. Two, stretch. One more, stretch. Foot down, last one. Oh, Here we go, three, two, one, and then big stretch. Ooh. And then slowly come all the way down. Okay, real quick, grab your ball, put it in between your inner thighs, grab your magic circle, keep your long band really close to you. We're gonna stretch with that really soon. Arms are down by grabbing your, um, in the top. Put your ball in between your inner thighs. Sit up nice and tall, elbows are wide with that magic circle. So. Inhale, grow tall, and squeeze and lower. Inhale, lift, ah, breath, squeeze. Inhale, lift, take a twist and squeeze for eight. And squeeze the ball for seven. Everything squeezing in for six. Exhale for five. Exhale for four. Exhale for three. Ha breath for two, and then last one, and then sit up nice and tall, squeeze the ball, and slowly roll it down. 
one vertebrae at a time. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, chin to chest. Come all the way up. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, shoulders down. Curl it down. Inhale, exhale, bring it all the way up. And sit up nice and tall. Good. And then we're going to hold it right here and we're just going to pulse this circle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Shoulders down. 4 and 3. And take your twist. You go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Squeeze. 5. Inner thighs. 4 and 3. And 2. Last 10. We go for 10. Nine, shoulders down, eight, seven, hover, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and squeeze that magic circle in front of you for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then slow and controlled. Lower it all the way down to the floor. Set that, um, that magic circle down, take the ball, Place it in between your ankles. You're gonna, oh, my legs are shaking. You're gonna bring your arms right here long past your hip. We're gonna start with the lower and abdominal lift. So you're gonna try to just stamp your feet up to the sky, using the lower abs, and try not to use any momentum here. And then once you figure that out, we can inhale, lower the legs, exhale, Press into the hands, use the lower abs, lift the hips up and over and take the feet over the head and go ooh, into that stretch here. And then you're gonna lift your feet, squeeze the ball, and as slowly as you can, one vertebrae at a time, you're gonna curl down nice and slow. So you can either stay with the reverse abs, or if your back's okay with it, if this feels okay on your spine, and there's not too much pressure or, comp or compression, you can go right into your roll over. And if you wanna sit in this plow position and bend those knees, getting that stretch in your back, that's really nice, and in your neck, depending on how you feel, you're gonna squeeze the ball, reach with the fingers, and reach with the abs, and then maybe you can do that one more time. Inhale, exhale, ha breath one more time. If your body is loving this, squeeze that ball. And we're gonna finish. Exhale, slow and controlled. Curl it down, that ball is in between the inner thighs. I'm reaching both arms overhead. My tailbone is down because we just did articulation. All we're gonna do is reset the pelvis. Nothing crazy here. We're just lifting and lowering the hips, reaching the tailbone out nice and long and squeezing the inner thighs for 10 and nine and eight. Reset the pelvis for seven and squeeze that ball, reach the tailbone. There's a little arc in the low back for five and four and three, and two, and then last one, hold those hips up and just squeeze that ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, inner thighs, six, five, four, three, little pulses with the hips up for 10. You should feel the low back firing, nine, that's the point of it, eight, because you just articulated, seven and stretched it out, six, Five, four, three, two, lower the hips, set the ball to the side. Now, your choice, either the long band or the magic circle. So you could grab this cushy part, put your right foot in there for a stretch, or if you like to stretch with the band, you could go long band or short band, long band's better, and then just hold it right here. Now, we're gonna do a quick stretch because we gotta Wrap it up, so draw the shoulders down, draw the chin slightly down, and pull on that leg. Breathing, inhaling and exhaling for eight, and seven, six, five, for four, three, 
two, now slightly take it across the body. Don't let the hip lift. Get into your IT band stretch. Anchor that hip down to the floor and just feel that stretch down the side of the leg. Breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. And then you're gonna open the leg all the way out to the side for that inner thigh stretch. Big stretch here, and then we're gonna finish with that low back stretch, which is all the way across the body, looking into the opposite direction, taking that nice big twist. And then we're gonna slowly come back to center and switch sides. So grab that foot, pull, drop the shoulders, drop your chin, feel the stretch in the back of the hamstring. Oh, goodness gracious, tightness. Good, build the stretch here. And then we're gonna take that leg across for that IT band stretch. Maybe let your foot kind of sickle, but see how I'm keeping this hip anchored to the floor? It's not lifting, it's staying plugged onto the ground. Good, breathing here, inhaling and exhaling for five and four and three and two, and then we're gonna open this leg all the way out to the side for that inner thigh stretch. Big stretch here. And then we are going to take that twist, letting the back, the hip come off of the floor this time. So you should feel the stretch in the leg and the low back. And then we're gonna slowly derotate the spine, have the knees, and rock and roll it for three, for two, massage that spine, and one. Woo! Nice work, lots of equipment today. Hour long um, Pilates power hour. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, evening. Thank you.